Uh, all right, here we go. So, go <laughs> live down. Oh, I'm waiting on notification. I can't wait to put this on YouTube because it's been a long time since we've had one with just the sisters. Okay, perfect. Boom. And we are live. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to a very special edition of Top 5 on the People's Podcast today. Today, we are doing this in honor of all of the sisters, all of the soldiers out there who laid the foundation, the second cells. <laughs> Don't try to butter us up. Right. <laughs> this is a sister. This is a sister episode. Top five sisters episode. Special episode for all the sisters out there from the top five panelists. Here we go. Holding it down. All right. We're going to start with you, Sister Mariah. Can you please say uh, uh, hello, peace, good morning to I mean, good evening to everybody because we late today. Yeah, good morning. That's a listen. <laughs> Peace, everybody. Asalaikum. Okay, welcome, Salam. Excellent. And to you, Sister Candice, can you please say, um, Peace, Asalaikum. What's up to everybody? Peace, Asalaikum. What's up, everybody? And everybody, please say goodbye to Brother Josh because he will never be the same after this episode. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Okay, and to you, Sister Aisha, our long um, standing panelist who we haven't seen in quite some time. Can you please say what's up to everybody? Thank you very much. I'm back. <laughs> great I, I know you all have missed me greatly, especially Josh. Oh Even goodness. though he tried to act like he hasn't. <laughs> what's up, everybody? Okay, here we go. Got it. So let's get straight into it. Top five artists that you had to be there in order to understand the hype. We're going to start with you, Sister Aisha, our historian. What you got, number five? Yeah, you really not a historian. Okay. <laughs> number five, I have Vanilla Ice. That's a good one. Okay, you got vanilla ice? Okay, ho- yes. hold on. And Malika, Malika Ubaka, I mean, Mimi says, peace, man. Malika Ubaka says, why didn't you invite me? Malika, you, no excuse. I should have reached out to you. Mimi says, welcome back, um, Aisha, and, and also Josh is full of it. <clears throat> I'm not full of it because I'm trying to have a sister's thing. Sister Rakia says, peace, y'all. <laughs> okay, so why vanilla ice? Okay, why did you have to be there to understand the hype? Because, like, if you were to hear it right now, it sounds horrible. But at the time... Like it was, it was the biggest thing going. Like Ice Ice Baby is why people even know Vanilla Ice right now. He had one song. Like I don't even know any other songs he ever made, and everybody knows who Vanilla Ice is, even young people, right? So, but you did have to be there to like really see why I was good. So, are you saying, all right, stop, collaborate, and listen? <laughs> <laughs> Ice is back with a grand <laughs> something. Grab a hold of you tightly. Okay, I just want to be clear what we're saying right now. Tightly. Okay, um, <laughs> that's the first time me and I usually ever agreed on something, by the way. Um, I even says peace, family, peace. All Turn right. out the lights and I'm <laughs> Listen, listen, don't get me a karaoke. Don't get me a karaoke. I'm telling y'all right now. Don't get me a karaoke. Let me, like was said, Josh's favorite song. I'm about to say, don't get me a no karaoke. Don't, don't get me a no karaoke. But the cool Baka said with that dope bass line, exactly. All right, oh my so God. what do you have, Sister Candace, at number five? My number five, I'm going to say Eminem. And the reason, I think for him, yes. And the reason I chose Eminem is because when he when he started, he was kind of whack, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but as he grew in in his art and in the industry, I think he got a lot better. But his the first song, Trash. First of all, y'all, as you are, anybody who knows, everybody knows Josh's favorite rapper, so I don't know this trash. I know, Josh, he's been, he been, he been a mutual <laughs> since I was thinking, hey, hey, he saying, not, I, I got to no, I got to speak the truth. I got to speak the truth. Sister Rakia said, these are the perfect categories for her, so she's mad, you know, so she's big mad. Oh, Sister Rakia, next time, don't worry about it. And Mimi says, MC Hammer. It says it's broken. Bro, Josh, are you black me or something? No, what you mean? <laughs> I don't know. It's looking like oh goodness. It's, 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 um, I just tagged you. And Mimi said MC Hammer, Yin Yang Twins, and Little John. Absolutely. Boom. All That's right. Good. Excellent. Okay. So besides, I don't know what Sister Candice is talking about uh, with the Eminem or whatever, but I'm going to digress. Yeah. All right. Sister Mariah, what you got for number five? Okay. So I had to. I made my list and I had to go think on it before we started. But at first, I had Demi Lovato only because I feel like now is her prime not when she was like first starting and stuff I feel like she's better now than she was before but then I thought on it some more and I felt like MC Hammer okay great so MC Hammer. and, and why, why MC Hammer Susan Mariah listen the pants the dance 
I don't know nobody that didn't have MC Hammer pants. I used to play the tape like the tape. I played the tape. What's the tape? What's the tape? What's the tape? Are you saying like tape on the wall? Like what are you saying tape? You say tape. No, no. This is where the, the age gap come in. I'm talking about like the tape and then take it out and turn around. Live and it. Get <laughs> See, I don't feel like that about Hammer though. I feel like I you feel put like Hammer on like right now. Hype. You I know why it's good. Like Oprah. <laughs> and he was showing off his dance to Oprah and then he went through you know, then he became a pastor, and then I heard he was back to doing hammer stuff, so I don't know what happened with that, but I do feel like <laughs> he has to have been there in the hype. Like, hammer was the whole hype. It was a movement. And it really he just kind of went down, because he was taking care of too many people. Now, you can't mention MC Hammer without mentioning 357 now. They kind of go hand in hand. I see that. And, and 357, this is a it was the girl group the that MC Hammer started. Okay, okay. okay. I don't know about Josh, don't know about that. Right, you know. Listen, I might not know about Old Town 357, but clearly y'all see. Oh, me. listen, uh, Old Town, <laughs> Old Town, you didn't. Exactly. But y'all see, I'm saying y'all see MC Hammer behind me. I, I, I became a fan with his movies. MC, I'm a big MC Hammer fan. I think he's the best dancer rapper of all time. Like I'm a, it's, it's if not. You know, if you ain't had no hammer pants, you ain't no real hammer fan. Okay, well, <laughs> and I the just, shoes. But I had the action figure. Thank you very much. I had the action. That don't count. I had the pants and do the shoulder moves and stuff for the count. <laughs> um. 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 I Mimi. I mean, Mimi said. Okay, Mimi saying something about people getting roasted. Naima said she never heard of three five seven. Um, since Malika Ubaka said they're from East Oakland. Thank you, I, uh, Malika. You always want to represent Oakland. Nobody got time for the Bay. Um, <laughs> since Rakia said he was a pastor first. Okay, I didn't know that. I don't think they put that in the movie. And then she said, Aisha. Yeah, um, he might. I think he was. Put a hammer on your uh, list and your children will roast him. I mean, put will roast him for that. Okay, boom. Got it. All right. So my number five is, I believe she's the princess of pop. She just got free from a conservative, uh, conservative thing with her dad. Britney Spears. Britney Spears, look, I'm telling y'all, at one point, Britney Spears was bigger than Beyonce. She was, bigger than, she was the biggest female star <laughs> in the world. Now people see her and they don't know. They don't know. Like, you had to be there. Like, you would never know how Maybe big Britney Spears is. Category. You had to because be there. I feel, like, I feel like had to be there to understand it would be like, if you mentioned this person, young people would be like, I don't see why they were popular. But I think people think, I think everybody thinks Britney Spears no, I'm not saying I'm not saying they don't think she's popular. I'm saying they don't think that she's the best. Like Britney Spears was the best. Like she had no equal. It was no, there was nobody with her. There was just it was just Britney Spears. There was no Rihanna, no B after Aaliyah. I don't know. I think it hurt her because it was like it was her and Christina Aguilera. And yeah, that's how them were and, and, the fact, and the fact that y'all are mentioning Christina Aguilera. That's what I'm saying. It was Britney Spears, and then it was everybody else. I'm trying to not in sync. In sync was not below her. I'm talking about women. I said the princess, like oh. she she was the best female star. Like she was the biggest female star, period. And she was in high school, killing it. That's she what I'm was saying. Biggest, but she wasn't the best. No. I, I, I know she wasn't as good as Fantasia and the and the rest of the people who were singing in the kitchen. Hey, whoa. He's triggered. Yeah, he's triggered. He's very triggered. No, because I know y'all don't y'all don't y'all don't start mentioning Kiki White and all these people like they can sing Britney Spears. I didn't say they couldn't sing Britney Spears in the table. Oh, oh, I thought we was gonna have to have a whole other discussion no, no. for a second. I'm just saying Britney Spears is the biggest star, is what I'm saying. Aisha, what you got number four? Number four, I got juvenile for number four. Mm, because I don't think anybody would think now that juvenile was ever good. But at the time, when uh what's the song? You know the song that people can't stop get, gotta dance to when it comes. <laughs> no, I don't know that song. Why don't you tell us? You know what song this is? You know what song I'm talking about. That's it. That. Uh, that was the okay. biggest song. Okay. So you got juvenile. So so yeah. so you don't think that people today would know that juvenile was ever the biggest, like he was bigger no, than Little Wayne on anybody, cash money. Yeah, I think I don't think anybody would even know that. Hmm. Okay. Um Mimi said leave Fantasia out of this. And uh, since Rakia <laughs> said uh, Britney's was a megastar. And since Rakia said Juvie, Juvie, Juvie the Great. Boom. Excellent. Well, listen, I don't think people, I agree. I don't think people would know that Juvenile was bigger than Little Wayne. He was the big brother of Cash Money. He was the biggest star. Right. Yeah. Okay, so the Candace, what you got? Number four. My number four, Montel Jordan. 
Now, okay. this is how we do, and that is it. <laughs> hey, he done it, and then it was over. <laughs> he, he's back on. He's back on TV every day with Shaq doing his commercial. It makes me mad. <laughs> I'm like, what? And that he is. <laughs> but the royalties on that song has to be ridiculous for him. Like, I can't agree with that. Ridiculous. It has to be. I mean, he's doing. You can't go to any now. sporting event and they don't play it. You know right. what I mean? Like, I can like, agree with that. Uh, Naima said, number four, Ja Rule, young people don't give him any respect. I agree. And she said, my mama loves some Montel Jordan. Yes, now we know how mama felt about Montel Jordan. My God. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi, that's my number one. You already know what it is. That's, my, that's definitely my number one. All right, so listen, here we go. So for you, sister, um, Mariah, what you got for number four? I got Brandy. I agree. I agree. I got Brandy. I think some people, I guess it's depending on when you kind of got on to her, kind of determines like your mood about her. But when Brandy first came out, you know, I want to be down Brandy, but she's like the goat now mm-hmm. with vocals mm-hmm. and stuff. Mm-hmm. You just, you just throw, you just throw things. You just, you just give all kinds of titles. No, just, listen, just... in the industry, they, they call Brandy the vocal Bible. They call her that. She trains so mm. many different people. Listen, mm. don't be sleeping on Brandy now. I like Brandy. I just never heard of the goat and vocal Bible. Like I did, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, you know, I didn't know. Gotta go look it up. People like really, really dig her as a coach and stuff because she's listen up there. Mm-hmm. said Brandy's a true legend. Mimi said uh Brandy is a whole legend. She agrees. Okay, I didn't know this was the Brandy's. I forgot there's a lot of women on here, so it's the Brandy circle. I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm not gonna say that about the yeah, Brandy. You're gonna get some truth today. Right. <laughs> <laughs> my number four is the group that's behind me at the top in sync i don't think people understand how big like you had to be there to know how many people was leaving high school to go buy their cds to buy all the stuff like in sync was was huge they were the second biggest group in the world at the time and them being the second biggest group they were still selling 10 million they well, still were selling diamond they for was those huge. for those people who were not there during the in sync days let me just just Put your heart at rest. You were not missing anything. Okay. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> are you are you serious? Are you serious? Now let me get the straight. Oh my are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> I just think like Josh. Okay, like I I agree with everything you said about instinct. Don't get me wrong. I do. I'm not the biggest instinct fan. However, I kind of my list was kind of like people. I feel like that get clowned now, but at that time. No, I, I, but I'm telling you right now, if Lance Bass or uh, JC, go to his Instagram, but this man got no followers. Like, you would never know that these were the biggest people in the world. Lance Bass, I just, I've know, never really heard anybody talk negatively about in I, I'm not saying they talk no. negatively. I'm saying they don't even talk about it. They right. only know Justin Timberlake <laughs> was in the group. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, oh, at one exactly. point, I mean, <laughs> for that purpose, I, give, I mean, I give you that. Exactly. Mrs. <laughs> Candace, you know the hate. Mimi says I only like pop stars. <laughs> no, I'm not hating. I just I'm saying I miss I misinterpreted the the list. I thought it was like people that like they were so big, but like everybody acts like now like they not nothing. They like, weren't important. Like no, you know no, I didn't saying? say no, I, no. I'm not saying no, I didn't say underrated. I'm just saying people they don't understand. Like like if if I tell somebody how how my next my next <laughs> group like how big they were, it's like man, what are we talking about? These people were the mega. They were the biggest stars in the world. All right. Uh, Aisha, what you got for number three? For number three, I got Ja Rule. Okay. I, I, I was surprised he, he's not people's number one because, I mean, no, you talk about somebody my, who... My number one is, is better than Ja Rule, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm just saying, you talk about people who don't, nobody would ever know how big yeah. Ja Rule was. Yeah. Like, and that's because of somebody on my list. You know what I'm saying? Because you would never know how big you had to be to stop murder murder inc was huge at one point it was huge it was every Charles. every every chart they was on top mm-hmm. like the Shanti, charlie but wasn't charlie baltimore with him yes ma'am yeah and you would never that's what i'm saying now you'd be like john i mean the way people talk about john rule now is this is <laughs> the memes the gifts everything mimi said genuine and she said cisco oh mimi's keeping it urban today with the r&b uh uh crooners <laughs> i see i see what's going on I all right used, i ain't used to the word <laughs> Of the word, you hate, except you're only being yourself, Aisha. Please, you okay, so, like white <laughs> this is Candace. What, what, what's your number three? My number three is Bobby Brown. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, good hey, one. I think he's, I did not think Bobby Brown. Listen, Bobby Brown, if he was 
in shape, <laughs> did some vocal athletics and exercise. I think he could do it again, but uh, back then, during the, the early, late 80s, early 90s, Bobby Brown, he was, was every hot. Listen, Bobby Brown's before my time, and I still, I, I was a kid kid, and I still grew up yeah. looking back at Bobby Brown, because that's how cool he was to me. He was like the coolest person in the world. That's right. So I can only imagine if I could do him at talent shows, and he was pop, oh, please, it would have been a wrap. Oh, yeah. Not the stuff he's doing now, like when he was on Mac. <laughs> Why do you have to attack the man now? Man? I'm just saying. He should have never did that won. show. He should have never did that show. And I Trying love Bobby. Trying to tear the black man down. I was like, you know what I'm saying? They uh, made Bobby almost pass on that show. They did. <laughs> this is Rakia said, the original bad boy. And my name said Bobby. That's right. Did. Okay, great. All right. So, Sister Ryan, who you got number three? You better not say Joe. I'm telling you right now. I don't see no Joe. On your hey, 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 hey. We ain't going to go there now. You was all right. <laughs> we gonna see if Joe comes on your list. Go ahead. <laughs> Joe gonna be on somebody. My number three. Well, Joshua might not know about this, but that's okay. Is Tevin Campbell? Good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Now, so, now, right. yeah. now, Te now, Tevin Campbell, he was the lead singer in the. He um, knows who Tevin. You know who, what? You know what? Who, who's we're, not gonna, we're not gonna it's do not that. Do I bet right now Justin Bieber is on your list. <laughs> <laughs> and if he is, and if he is. Yeah. Hey, I want to talk about people falling off, but y'all bringing up Tevin Campbell. All right, but well, that's what I'm saying. All hey. right, so Mariah, explain to me who Tevin Campbell is, though. Who is he? What you mean? We don't right, like, no why? explanation of Tevin Campbell. Like, Tevin why, Campbell why, is why was he a big deal? Because why? he was Tevin Campbell. Right. Okay. <laughs> I feel like Maybe he kind of came before people were really ready for him. But I feel like if Tevin Campbell now was, I mean, back then was now, I feel like he would have gotten what he should have gotten. I feel like we kind of played Tevin Campbell to the left. Mm. And I, we should have yeah. gave him his flowers. From day one. Naima said Tevin Campbell is a legend, Josh. I'm going to YouTube it. Um, sister, he sister, knows sister. who the hell Tevin Campbell what? is. Right. <laughs> Because I, I don't know, because I don't know how big he is. How, how come I don't know? I know Tevin Campbell because he's saying my birthday. Like on... He's saying, he's saying, right. no, I definitely didn't know he was that big, but he's saying, um, fresh he said, in sync. He said, but he don't know Tevin Campbell. 10 million. What I'm saying is, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Like, yeah, you know what I'm what? saying? He's saying on um, the Fresh Prince, happy birthday. I know who Tevin Campbell is. Yeah, he did. Do um, that. You know what? <laughs> uh, Sister Rakia said R. Kelly, you had to be there. Uh, Mimi said Tevin Campbell's a good one, and and they say I'm just trolling. Okay, I'm just you trolling. are. You are. <laughs> yeah. I'm not just trolling. All He's right. Uh, my number three on with my list of pop people. Who I don't think people will understand. Backstreet Boys is number three. Oh, uh, then now I'm I know for sure Justin Bieber's on the list. <laughs> Backstreet Boys <laughs> were bigger than life. You cannot go to school without girls screaming about Backstreet Boys. All of them. If oh Backstreet Boys came goodness. walking in the mall right now in Atlanta, any Chicago, in Pensacola, who knows who they are? Who knows who they are? By separate, not together. No, nobody's Tevin like, oh Campbell still get played on the radio. Not, no, the, not the music. Not the music. I'm talking I about them. Want it the not the music. I'm talking about them. I'm talking about them. <laughs> That's that song is that song is going to be That song is film. timeless. I'm sorry. I'm talking about oh them. Oh my though. god! I'm talking about them. I'm just saying. I don't know if everybody knows who Backstreet Boys is. No more. They were so big. Oh my god! They were. That's all I'm saying. And now people look at them like, who? Brian, Howie, like who are these people? Like I don't know. Yeah, I, I couldn't even tell you their names. Like, of course you couldn't because you take you know, pride in not taking hey. names, but you gonna tell us. <laughs> <about them. laughs> Somebody <laughs> is mad. You gonna tell us about Tony Campbell? You gonna tell us about Tony Campbell? My God. You're going to make sure you got a brother on the panel next time. <laughs> uh, Sister Kia says, say you from the suburbs, and I say you from the suburbs. Yes, Sister Kia, and I make it clear about the baby girl. Pass me on that. Oh, God. Sorry, she's, she's a Pensacola. My goodness. All right, so Sister uh, number two, what you got, Aisha? Number two, I got Nelly. <clears throat> Okay. That's, that's low. Nelly. That's low. That's low, Aisha. That's low. No, you don't know who I have for number one. Okay, that's low. Nelly That's was huge. Game. Everybody clowns Nelly now, and it's very yeah. disrespectful. It's, it's very disrespectful. But Nelly was huge, so I got Nelly for number yeah. two. 
Okay, that's a good, that's a great one. I think people sleep on. Uh, Nimi said Nelly for sure. Um, Aisha, I mean, Naima said Kevin from Backstreet Boys. What about Kevin from Backstreet Boys? Naima, is he a good singer? Is he a good dancer? Because you just said his name. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. He was um, the tall one. I know she, I know she, I'm saying she's choosing, but she's not saying that without saying that. So, Naima, so Nelly said he's a true icon. All right, so this is the Candace. What you got, number two? My number two was Tevin Campbell. Oh, he had he? to make it. <laughs> Oh yes, oh, that's a good one though. Yes, sir. <laughs> you had, did he did he make girls faint? Tell me what it is. Like tell me what it's yes, going on. Absolutely yeah. did. Yes. I don't know. What is you talking know. about? He was I, like he was like he was like eight, singing so like he was thirty five. Like did you not see Fresh kids? Prince of Bel Air? I, I, I saw that. That's what I'm saying. But I don't know. Like I didn't. I didn't know. Bell if Bell 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 your birthday Bell. party in 1990, you would have. <laughs> Like Hit you would have died. Okay. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. The last, the last thing I saw Tevin Campbell, he was singing in the airport on TMZ. That's the last thing I saw. You are hell. Oh, I'm dead serious. I'm dead hair. serious. You can YouTube it. I'm dead serious. And what the last thing we saw Britney Spears doing was driving her baby on her lap. Why do you have to do that to Britney Spears? Why do you have to tell her that? Don't be trying to come to Britney Spears do something to you. I was trying to keep her integrity intact. That's what I'm saying. Why do you have to attack her? I'm telling you, you didn't have to come for that. I'm telling you, that's what I'm saying. Don't be bringing up his whole point. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Because I'll tell you what, Britney got a lot more of them points. Yeah, Britney's out here. Let's not do that. Once again, and she's still the princess of pop. That's all I'm trying to tell y'all. All right, Sister Mariah. In her own mind. <laughs> right, what you got number two? Number two is Lauren Hill. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. Good. Lauren that Hill. Like, that's huh. Don't do that. Don't I did do not that. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Let, let me run, Josh. <laughs> I know, I know Josh ain't hating when he when he's no. Mr. Numbers. If you're Mr. <laughs> numbers, I know you're not hating no more. I'm not, I'm, no, no, I'm not hating. 27 to... million. Do you hear me? Come on. Before Again, streaming. Come on. Before listen, streaming. Don't do listen, that. Don't exactly. Do that. I'm, not saying, I'm not saying her music isn't timeless and classic and big. I'm just saying, do we have to do that? She is a part of history. That album she should be in every school library and taught as a subject. Everybody. <laughs> He's hating right now. He's no, no, right I'm, now. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for her because she said she was going to come on uh, the podcast tonight, but she's, she told me that two years ago, so she's never on time. So I'm just trying to <laughs> see what's right. going on. I'm just trying to see what's going right. on. That's because she knows you ain't ready. ready. That should uh, be, that should uh, be uh, reading, writing, arithmetic, yes. and the miseducation of Lauren Hill. The miseducation is phenomenal. He's hating. Uh, Sister Rakia said that um, Tevin Campbell was Prince's protege and Lauren, no Lauren Hill slander does. Of course, Mimi says. Like, no Lauren Hill That's right. The miseducation was enough. That's a good one. Speaking of the miseducation, what was her second album like? How, what did that do? You know you what? Hate that was that was <laughs> her, <laughs> that was her <laughs> second album for the record. Right. Because the Fuji <laughs> sold even more records. Than Come on. Album, okay? I'm Don't just do trying that. to Don't understand. Do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> The Fuji's deserve to be on this list. Exactly. <laughs> You're a hater. He's a hater. I, I, listen, I don't get it. My number two is a man who, you know, probably would say the same stuff I'm saying. He goes by the name of 50 Cent. Get Richard I trying right behind me. If you weren't there for 50 Cent, if you weren't there for somebody selling 10 million records as a rapper who wasn't singing on all his songs like Lauren Hill, the miseducation. Yes, Lauren he Hill. is. He's singing on every song. No, like, he, no, sure, no, he sure is. No, he's singing no, on no. every song. He sure is. He's every song. Yes, he you know, is. These are people that we all people on this listing on every yeah. song. Ja Rule is yeah, singing on yeah. every song. Nelly is singing yeah. on every song. 50 Cent is singing on every song. 50 yeah. Cent was the biggest and thing And he in the got world. rich and died trying. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I'm just telling y'all, 50 Cent was big. 50, nobody was bigger. Feel than like 50 you Cent. had to be there to know how big 50 Cent was, right? Because 50 Literally. Cent still is a. Because I mean, the fact that he has the amount of shows he has on TV right now lets everybody know how big he was. You didn't but, have to be there. But at, nobody, as a, nobody's as a debating rapper. if he was. Nobody's debating if he was big. But the question was, you had to be there. I think everybody knows. Does anybody know about the G the, the G unit? I don't think you have uh, to be bullet, bulletproof vest, wife beaters, and G unit clothing. I'm saying, Josh, you didn't have to be there to know that he was huge, though. 
Some people may not know that 50 Cent was the biggest deal. Big and Cent. he was only big because of the beat. Stars that ain't even good. Everybody know he was Come big. on. First of all, his shows are good. Don't do that. And second of all, <laughs> you said <laughs> Ja Rule, he took your man down. He took, he took Murder Inc. down by himself. Like, but oh, everybody bro. knows that. Oh, oh my God. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. You didn't have to be there. Nine and might I hands. point out that his theme show of power was sung by none other than Joe. Yo, yes, I'm thank familiar. you. <laughs> I'm familiar with it. I used to fast forward every time. Uh, <laughs> Naima said, D'Angelo <laughs> and Bajan. Um, Sister Rakia said she has some big G-unit shoes. Okay, Sister Rakia, I ain't thinking about the G-unit. Okay. Um, the, Mimi said, the younger generation thinks he's the show producer who raps all the theme music. I'm aware of what the young generation thinks. But that's what I'm saying. They don't understand yeah. how huge he is. All right, number one, what you got, Aisha? I can't wait to hear this because you've been hyping okay, it up. Okay, my number one person that you had to be there to know how huge he was and get so clown like he wasn't is Bow Wow. You had to be mm, there. Mm. Bow Wow was shutting down malls all over this country. Mm. And everybody clowns agree. like it was never good. He was, it was pandemonium. It was, it was Michael Jackson, people falling out of his concert, <sighs> Bow Wow. Like the shit was crazy. And I think you had to be there to know. I agree with that. Now they just think he answered. Give me that list. Gave you that answer to that list. You said that what? I said, I hope your children gave you the answer because I never seen you come up with a good one like that. They didn't give me no answer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. I, remember, I just remember my children and everybody how he couldn't do he was Mr. 106 in Park like he made the show like you had to be there to see how big Bow Wow was that's true okay well that's you true. definitely you definitely got the sisters on your side and the, the thing so Rakia saying Bow Wow Naima saying that's a fact by Asia she was Will Bow's biggest fan asked her family yes we know Mimi said Mr. 106 in Park um Naima was there and boom I'm surprised nobody said Mimi's favorite uh, artist, which is uh, Usher. You had to be there, I guess. You didn't have to be there. there. Everybody knows Usher's the GOAT. You don't yeah. have to be there. Okay, I'm just saying. Everybody people knows. might have never, didn't know. Okay. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Nobody they knows, Aisha. All right. They know. <laughs> 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 Candace. What you guys are the Okay. I'm going to say my number one is going to be <clears throat> Silk. And the only reason I'm saying this is because they had a oh, recent yeah. video <laughs> that was like, Mm. But in the early 90s, they were one of the top groups. So. Sister, sister, sister Candace, think Silk, really? Sister Candace, I'm yeah, so glad you so. said that because yeah. my family attacks me because they say I'm the Silk's biggest only, only fan. <laughs> no, nobody saying you're the only fan of Silk, but Silk being like the top of the top, you know, Jodeci was bigger than Silk. Yeah, Jodeci was, but I, I think, you I know, Jodeci, Jodeci, well, I no, Jodeci slander now. We can't. We can't. No, 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 no. <laughs> nah, I'm a Jodeci. Because Joshua was getting ready for it until you said right. it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Jodeci was one of the top, but I think also Silk was too. Absolutely. I like Silk. Silk doesn't get credit, and I don't know why they don't get credit. So. And uh, the lead sing was from my hometown. Thank you very much. Pensacola? No, Nashville. Nashville. Okay, okay. I didn't know. I didn't know what you're about to say. <laughs> okay, Mimi said Usher's iconic. Everyone knows. I like the people on my list. But why do you have to say it? Mimi? I'm not attacking them. I just didn't know why nobody said Usher. Uh, Mimi said, and I even said Josh is obsessed with Silk. I'm just telling y'all, Silk got them hits. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't never find Silk nobody who likes sweat. Silk. I can't never find like somebody Silk. who gonna be like, oh, that play that Silk. I've never heard nobody say that in my entire life. Yeah. He don't. He only likes Silk because it keeps sweat is associated. <laughs> Yeah, but he just brought them in. But they had, they have talent though. They really they have talent. I like that. Yeah, they are my uh, playlist today. Last night, we uh -oh. had an uh -oh. argument. Not in the, not <laughs> holding the microphone. Mr. <laughs> 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 Mariah, what you got? What you got? My number one That's is one. DMX. <laughs> huh? My number one is DMX. Then you had to be there. I think so. I think I don't think that people born after a certain time really appreciate DMX. When they had like the different memorial things for him on different shows, I felt like I went back in my head like I was a whole different Mariah. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. love DMX. I still love DMX, but I don't think I don't think everybody appreciates DMX if you weren't during a certain time. Okay, I can see that. And you know, DMX is my favorite New York rapper of all time. So 
I'm definitely a fan. And I don't think people understand the Rough Riders and all of that, because if you wasn't there, you may never understand right. the motorcycles coming down the streets and all that. I, I get that. All right, so Mimi's making, um, saying nobody's ever going to um, <laughs> request that Josh play that silk. She says she's Mariah is roasting. <laughs> when, she was, when I was talking about my singing it into the microphone, I get to swing She said they don't know the power. Stop, drop, shut them down, open up shop. This is Rakia saying that. Stop, drop, open up shop. She said she she went as Eve to all of the school dances. She was Eve. Okay, I don't know what Rakia is saying with that. Okay, got it. Okay, so my number one is Nelly. Now, okay. I, I just think Nelly, of course, it's on my wall, but like Nelly was the biggest thing and everybody was hating on him. He, it was so much hate, man. It was just so much people was hating on Nelly. He had to do why that had to be number one and all that. <laughs> Bro, Nelly had the songs and he was he was Drake before Drake. That's all I'm just telling you. I'm not going to He was I, never Drake, but he was pretty. High. I like Nelly. And he was Drake. Team. I'm telling you, he was he could sing rap. Like he was a rap singer. You don't think so? I like he Nelly over Nelly. Drake. You think Nelly over Drake? Oh, you like Nelly over Drake? Okay. Well, I never heard that before, but okay. <laughs> right. I, I don't like Nelly over Drake, but I do like Nelly. I mean, Nelly was my number two. I like <clears> Nelly. <throat> I think he got treated. He gets treated unfairly now. Absolutely. I think so. But not more yeah. than that. Naima said Eve is an honorable mention. Brother Joseph says some Lakeland family. Thank you, Brother Joseph, for tuning in. And she's and Sister Rakia said her number one was Master P. Absolutely. Shout out to no Remy. And Mimi I saying, think Ludacris is an honorable mention too. And listen, another yeah. person was behind me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you preach to the choir over here. You preach to all my all my songs, all my rappers. All right, let's get straight into it. Top five underrated TV show theme songs. We start with number five. What you got to the candidates? Number five is the Golden Girls theme song, but the remix. I don't know the brother's name who did the video, <laughs> but. He brought it back. <laughs> so I'm going to say the Golden Girls. But you, think, you think that's underrated? <laughs> I think so. No. Okay. I'll let you go. To me, so. to me, that's to me, that's like the top one, two, or three of all time. But if you say it's underrated, it's underrated. <laughs> all right. Next is Mariah. What you got? Okay. So the first, I don't care what you think about my list. I do have a tie <laughs> to number five because this, this is what I like. What I think is underrated. So okay. my number five tie is Glee and DuckTales. <laughs> DuckTales. <laughs> okay. Everybody loves DuckTales. I'm going to say, I like DuckTales. And you said Glee too? I, I, I'm a fan of the show Glee. I'm a fan of the show Glee before they all graduated. I love uh, it. It's one of my favorite shows. I would have never known that. Since the, uh, I, can't, I mean, since Mariah, I didn't know that. Yeah, Glee. Wow. By the way, listen, anytime Glee redo, redoes a song, it's phenomenal. Amber Riley, all of them, they all can sing very well. All right, let's go. Aisha, what you got? Okay, so my top five underrated theme songs, I feel all of them are instrumentals because I feel like instrumental theme songs get underrated because they can really be good just they don't have words. <laughs> so number five, I got I Dream of Jean. Okay. Okay. That's a good one. That's that's why I call her our top five historian. She's going to take us back to I Dream of Jeannie. <laughs> I like this. <it. laughs> <laughs> Such a I just said, I'm a genie. Oh, what's going on? You know what That's saying? a good one, though. Okay. Yeah. Um, Sister Rakia says, DuckTales went hard, but not harder than Captain Planet. Okay. Uh, Mimi says she loves DuckTales. Naima says one on one. Naima, what are you saying one on one for? Is it they know what you're talking about? Talking about some one on one? Nobody's going to know Captain Planet. Don't do that like that. <laughs> I'm just telling <laughs> her. Okay. Boom. All right. Aisha, what you got at number five? I mean, well, you just see number five. Yeah. My number five is all the souls is on here. Y'all should appreciate this. The boom dots. Boom. We don't get enough credit. Boom. I don't even remember the theme song from the boom. I don't remember the theme song, but I know I, I love mean, the show. That's why it's underrated. I, love the show. I, I am the song, bum, 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 bum. I'm the song. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good show. Boom. See what I'm saying? That was a good one. Was I used to that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is Rakia. You see that? Maple <laughs> Bill. <laughs> yeah. Number four. What you guys are the characters? My number four is the PJs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do. The but co- Joshua don't know about that. I'm gonna say, oh my these, god, are these pajamas? Are these pajamas? What is this? What is the show about? No, it's a it's a cartoon. It's an animation. Pino. The P. <laughs> you know the PJs are <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I like the theme song to the PJs. I didn't say that. Aisha, why do you want to talk about? I'm talking about something you know I know with PJs. You don't know I know about no PJs. 
PJ's is a good one. Yeah, okay. I like that um, thing, so. uh, Sister Mariah, what do you have at number four? My number four is Frazier. That's a that good one. Okay. Funny. I chuckled at that one. Now look at <laughs> now look at this. If I said the same list that she's saying, y'all would be attacking me. Glee, Frazier, come and on. we probably would. <laughs> But it's Sister Mariah and Brother Josh, so you know we already know, we, we already know she down for the cause. We ain't sure. Right. That. <laughs> you don't want to be like to, my word is mine. Kevin I can't Campbell wait to I said it Justin Bieber. Right. This, this <laughs> my next our next uh, uh, list is going to be the blackest list in the history of the world. The first time I had all black people, so I can't wait to do that one. All right, here we oh go. Oh my god! <laughs> all right, Naima <laughs> Mini says Josh knows the PJs are. Naima said the Boondocks is good. Naima Mini says I'm mocking. And she also said Gullah Gullah Island. I don't know what that is. Made me sound like some voodoo. Um, <laughs> Naima said the PJs used to watch uh, that with, I used to watch that with the siblings. I ain't watching all the uh-huh, PJs. Uh-huh. <laughs> so Aisha, what'd you say your number four was? <laughs> My number four is Law and Order. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's okay. Stella. She want to show she's, you, know, you ain't smart. Yeah. Pick Law and Order. <laughs> I love Law and Order. But that's a good one though. My number that's four is Law one. and Order. Like, is it, okay. <laughs> I like the instrumentals. All right, sis. Mm-hmm. Name said Golden Girls. Of course, you had to put some uh, Golden Girls on there. Name yes, nowhere. My number four. My number four is Chippendales. Uh, my aunties and uncles. Yeah, used to, my, list. my aunties and uncles used to listen to that type of stuff, you know, and they put me on. So boom, Chippendales, Rescue Rangers. These ah. two. <laughs> It's the eyes closed right. for me. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah, All so. into the microphone. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Sister Rakia said, in the heat of the night, I think it's a slave movie. I don't know what that is. But, uh, oh, my God. <laughs> it's a slave movie. <laughs> Mimi says, that's a good one. Oh, finally give me some credit. Thank you all very much. All right, Sister Candace, what you guys number three? My number three, uh, <laughs> The Proud Family. Dang, I thought I was gonna kill him with that one. You already had it on there. Okay, all right. Oh, the proud family. Josh, that's, on my list. that's on my list. That's on my list. Huh? What was your number four, Josh? I missed it. Chip and tail. Chip and tails. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, all right. So, okay, so what you got for number three, Sister Mariah? Malcolm in the middle. Okay, that's a good one. Look at Sister Mariah showing her diversity. Showing her yeah, okay. that's awesome. Me now, that's my jam. <laughs> okay, I would have never guessed that since the Candace is weird. I don't think that one is underrated. I think everybody thinks like, that one is good, right? Not I don't know it? if everybody knows mm, about Malcolm yeah, in the middle, say, though. I'm gonna say. Okay. All right. And since the Kila and uh, Honda's laughing, and Mimi said the Proud Family is a great one. I can't believe you took that from me, since the Candace. I really was, I thought I was gonna kill him with that Proud Family. All right. <laughs> Aisha, what you got? Number three. <laughs> number three, I got Beverly Hills 90210. Okay. okay. You-, you know what? I thought about that one. I thought about that one. That's a good one. Now, this this not the this not the OC. This is the OC. This not the OC. No, it's Beverly Hills 90210. How the does it go? How does it go? I don't know that. I don't know the original. How does it go? I don't know it. It's instrumental. Okay, I don't, my bad. My bad for not knowing. Okay, man, she's trying to get mad at me and kill me like they did Dylan's parents. All right, listen, number two. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my number three. My number three is uh, it's facts of life. You know what I'm saying? I had to do a okay. for another that. thing. My, like my, aunties and, my aunties, uncles, all my parents, my mom's not my dad because he's never respected. Like my mom's, you know, facts of life. You take the good, you know, that's all that's all your music yeah. right there. You know what I'm saying? Boom. I, like I know how to put I know to do I know to represent. Um Naima said fairly odd parents and sister uh um, that's a good sister, one. Sister Rakia said, What about the Cosby's? Now I don't know if she's talking about the Cosby show or the Cosby's murder mysteries. I don't know what she's talking about right now. Because the, the, the Cosby show is probably not underrated. Or maybe the Cosby murder mystery is this. All right. All right, here we go. All right, let's go. Number two, what you got, Sister Candace? My number two is the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse thing. I watch with my children sometimes, but well, when they- it, it's, a new, it's a new one? No, the, the older one. So like well, this comes on now, but you know, I like the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse thing. So with Britney twice. Spears, Justin Timberlake, and all of that. Uh, no, no, not that one. Not that one? What? The cartoon. Okay, that's why that's why I was trying to get clarity. I was trying to get clarity. So you're saying not the M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O, not that one. No, not that one. 
Okay, okay, mm-hmm. okay, okay. Man, you hate the Mickey hate Mouse history. Clubhouse. That one, I like the new. One. I never heard of it. It's pretty cool. Um, Naima says, "As told by Ginger Nickelodeon." I don't know what that is, Naima. Get you keep me up. And Sister Rakia said, "The Cosby Show, the old one." Boom. All right, let's go. What do you got, Sister? Uh, Mrs. Mariah uh, has gone away for a minute. All right, so Sister Aisha, what you got? Number two. Now, number two, one of my favorite songs. At, I mean, one of my favorite shows. That I got Kirby Enthusiasm for number two. Okay. 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 That's a good one. So, Candace, I'm, I'm surprised you watched that. I've heard of it. I've never watched it, but I do know of it. It's okay, so good. Them. They have they have a they have a they have a family on there called the Blacks. I think you'll like them. Boom. It's so funny. Uh, they do. Do they have a family they called the Blacks? Legit, they have a family called the Blacks. And Sister Candace, your, your sister. Girl. Boom, 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 all of that. All right. Um, okay. Um, um, Mimi says she doesn't know that theme song. Okay, listen, my number two, it Mimi loves not knowing something. Mimi girl, keep up with the uh, Kirby enthusiasm. My number two. It's the Proud Family. You already said that. Also, Tori Lane's remix of the Proud Family. Phenomenal. All right. Number one. I can't wait to kill y'all my number one because it's y'all generation. Uh-oh. So y'all, y'all appreciate it. Uh-oh. Sister Candace, what you got for number one? Uh, my number one, I'm gonna say a different world. You think that's the, underrated? The second season. Mm, mm. I would think the first oh, season is more you underrated. Me. But um, yeah, I'm gonna say a different world. I would say both of them. Okay, now Sister Aisha, can you can you continue that? Because I never heard that version. What, what, can you sing that? What you just that's the that's the version everybody heard. Stop. No, I'm just saying. What's, what's, I can hear you. I can hear. What you say? I'm about to slap you. <laughs> 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 you singing? That's all I'm trying to get some fun with. My God. Uh, okay, so a different world. The second season, boom, got it. Uh, so Mar- uh, Mariah's still not back yet. Apparently, she's taking Marvin's place today with being on the on, 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 on screen. That's usually Marvin's job, but all right. Since I eat it, what you got? What you got at number one? My number one instrumental theme song, Game of Thrones. Mm, mm. That's a good one. Love it. I've never seen Game of Thrones. You, you gotta see it. It's a couple sisters and brothers on there. And the song gets you, know you so hyped what up. What you trying to say, Josh? Like, that you only watch Black stuff. The song right. gets you so hyped, hyped up. <laughs> Okay, so, so oh, there she is. See that so, as you, Sister Mariah, I was defending you. They was they were trying to clown you. <laughs> <laughs> I know better. Uh, hey, that's, go that's, back and watch the tape. Yeah, go back and watch the, so, so the Kila said, "Y'all, did somebody say that's a raven yet? No, nope, we should have. Somebody should have said that's a raven. That's a good one. That's so oh, raven. that's a raven. That is a good one. Um, she's lagging back. I'm logging back on. Boom. Nightmare says step by step. Dave, name me, how old are you sometimes? Okay. You know what you're you know I like that one. Uh, That's a good one. All right, Sister uh, Mariah, what you got number one? Wait, my number two was Rugrats. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. That's a great one, actually. And then my number one is Different World. Like, y'all just like a different world. I don't know why people think that's underrated. Like, y'all I like love different world. Like, but I felt like the second version, like once Debbie Allen got in there and changed some stuff around, I felt like that kind of redefined the show. Oh, so what you're saying is once yeah. they kicked the white girl off, then it became a better exactly. show. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly <laughs> what she's saying. Look at that. Look at that. Honestly, different world did become a better show. I don't think it, it was did. Like white girl, but. D- D- Whitley was a better lead than Denise. Um, yeah, yeah, I think so too. And you know what I realized? Just to segue a minute, that Freddie took Maggie's place. Their characters yeah, are similar, and it just dawned on me recently that Freddie is the Maggie, yeah. you know, of the second season. And I yeah. liked Maggie. Yeah, I, I like Maggie too. too. Who, who, but. Somebody had y'all to leave me out. Who's Maggie? Who's Maggie? <laughs> Marissa yeah. Maggie. You don't appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and y'all saying and y'all saying y'all y'all saying y'all happy that Marissa told me got kicked off. All right. Uh, no, we're not saying that. No. I said that Denise was not a good a le- good as lead she, as she Jasmine wasn't. Guy was. Uh, okay. Maggie no. just happened to leave when she left. That right. it's yeah. not really against Maggie. True. Um Naima said it, it it definitely got better after Denise. Uh, so Rikia said the theme song fits and Nini saying season one. Okay, I don't watch a different world. Only thing I know about different world is I love you, baby. You know, he's begging at the, the thing. I don't have to watch episode all of them. ever. You know all you need to know. That, that's what I'm saying. Like I can't watch, I can't sit through all of them. I can't, I'm not that much of a fan. Yeah. 
I, I like the concept, but I can't watch the whole. I can't get involved. It's it's a lot. It's a lot going on. Oh my goodness! Don't tell nobody else that after this. Yeah, don't uh, have to tell them because they'll cancel right. you, girlfriend. You better watch it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my number one is a show from you all's generation, and it goes by the name of Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed is an <laughs> underrated. Mr. Ed is an underrated. Um, you know what? <laughs> I'm just telling y'all. My 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 grandma used to babysit us. We knew about some Nick and Knight. The fact that you, you said can from you y'all's from generation. Can you no, here? no, you cannot. I'm saying, what's wrong with Mr. Ed? That's what's wrong with him. That's from my damn generation. Right. <laughs> I, I thought he was a black and white dog. Right. Oh, I thought it was real. I don't know. You know what? You know what? All right, let's get into it. Top five worst horror films of all time. Let's go, Sister Mariah. What you got? Number five. I can't wait for this. This is my. I'm the happiest about this list. <laughs> Uh, Sister Mariah, what you got number five? My number five is the Blair Witch Project. <coughs> I got that high. Yes. You and you saying you saying you saying you saying it's 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 bad? Terrible. It was horrible. Okay. Absolutely I'm just saying garbage. everybody loved it. Who, who loved it? Sister, loved Sister it? Rakia is um uh, Mimi said I only watch Martin. Now, how could you accuse me of only watching Martin? Mimi, that yeah, thing. Um, and since Rakia said, fun fact, they fed Mr. Ed peanut butter to get his mouth to move. <laughs> now, if I said that to our generation, she's dropping facts, and now y'all keep, you know what I'm saying? Go, Sister Rakia, thank you, you know We know my old Sister Rakia. Wow. Do that. Now, listen, once again, um, Blair Witch Project. I thought, that, I, I never saw the movie, I'm not gonna lie, but I never saw it, so I can't say. Yeah, it was terrible. I just know everybody imitated it, or whatever. All right. So, Aisha, what you got? Number five. Number five, I got Slender Man. One of the worst things I've ever seen before in my life. Please explain. <laughs> you had, Slender Man? You, he was like this skinny, tall, like, I mean, it was, I mean, why was that scary? It, it just was terrible. The whole I've never heard of it. Man. You never heard of Slender Man? No. I'm, is it oh, well, you should go watch it. You should go watch it. Um, once again, horror films, but it's not my, really my, my genre. Yeah, it's not really my thing either. My, my horror films are more like I mean, they're scary, but it's not like Jason and stuff. I can't, I can't get into stuff like that. All right, so Candice, what you got? Number five. My number five was all of the Saw movies. <laughs> hey, you they all was bad. I never seen. I one. didn't like them. Never seen. I one never seen either. one. I saw, I saw the commercial and said that. Nope, not for me. Yeah. No. Yeah, I never saw one. It was terrible. Well, let me tell you. Okay, here's mine. Number five. I, we started with an honorable mention for everybody because this is this really is not a horror. People don't count as that, so I'm just throwing this out there. The Wiz. The Wiz is a horror film to me, and it's the scariest thing I've ever seen. I don't know why people keep trying to promote it as a children's movie. Whatever. Did I, I say the Josh, Wiz? I can't even lie. Like I, I completely agree with you with the Wiz and the Wizard of Oz. Both of them to me are just uh, horror movies. Those are horror the movies. Wiz. They have they have black fly monkeys and their features look like like no no way in hell, hell and the flushing down the toilet i'm like what, what is saying. happening right now oh they, my gosh they in the subway they come into life not a fan of yeah the wizard of oz he, and the wiz were both very he scary put the as wiz a as a horror oh. film it is what it is all right but listen my number, five, my number five my number five is <laughs> vampire in brooklyn you want to see a bad horror film that is <laughs> not a horror movie <laughs> It wasn't a horror uh, film. That was a comedy. That is not a horror movie. That's <laughs> not a horror film. Might be the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. That don't count. That's not, it. That's not a horror film. That don't count. I don't count. It's called Vampire. That does not That's count. That's a comedy. That does not count. No. That's what I'm just telling y'all. No, Ooh. that was hilarious. No. Uh, I just think it is. Oh, since Rakeem said Slender Man sucks. Okay, number four. What you got, Sister Mariah? Number four, I have a tie between <laughs> what you did last summer and Freddie versus Jason. Nobody else. Uh, yes. You like I know what you did last summer. That's what I got number four too. Yeah, that was trash. That's my number four too. <laughs> see, see I, because I'm not a horror film person. If I can get through it, then it's like yeah, I kind of like it. Yeah, that's my number Both four as well. Both of them, all of them was trash. Time. All of them. All of I would them. never, I would never watch Freddy vs. Jason. That's not even something. They, they in space. Yeah. They in space. Freddy vs. Jason. I'm not watching that. I like for movies to follow books, and I know what you did. Someone had the wrong people dying. They died the wrong way. It was trash. 
I didn't it know was it was terrible. a book. Since, since, uh, Mariah dropping some jewels on us. All right, Aisha, what you got number four? The same. I know what you did last summer. <laughs> oh, but y'all didn't yes. want to put. But y'all didn't want to put. I still know what you did last summer with. No, with I put. I, yeah, yeah. That was. I, actually, I said I all. Have, I still know. Honestly, that's what I have. Yeah. Because the fact that they make a second one after that first horrible one <laughs> makes it even more terrible. But, so, so let me. So that's maybe it's the teenage Joshua Muhammad that's that's throwing me off. So they they on the side of the road. The girl. Is it on stage at the prom, or they doing like some kind of talent show or something, and they kill it with a hook? That's the, that's one, right? That's, that's I it. know. That's what I know. That's what I'm saying. Y'all did it. That was kind of scary. Y'all did that. That was, was that? terrible. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> name name said Freddie versus Jason was terrible. Uh, Mimi said Josh just wants to black cinema, <laughs> mock black cinema. I don't want to mock. He black did. Cinema. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Uh, Rakia said Freddie versus Jason was uh, horrible. And so was all of the screen movies. I like the first screen movie. I don't know about screen two and three, but I like the first one. Mm-hmm. I like, but I also like Liv, uh, what, Liv and Courtney Cox. So maybe that's what is going on. All right, Sister Candice, what you got number four? My number four is Friday the 13th and Paranormal Activity. All of Friday the 13th? All of them. From what? the first <laughs> one to the end. All of them. Trash. <laughs> all of them. You go to sleep and he comes and kills you. Like that's not scary. I think I thought the Nightmare on Elm Street movies were better. Okay, wait, no. Friday Thirteenth is Jason. Jason. So you go camping. It's okay, all scary. But once again, I'm not a horror fan, so I don't. It's all scary to me. All right. So um, my number four, we're gonna have to go with uh, the man who's performing at the Super Bowl, um, who smokes me with um, Martha Stewart, Snoop Bones. We're going with Bones. Bones. Would you stop? Movies. These are not horror movies. You <laughs> <laughs> need to stop. Oh, these are not horror movies. It's a horror movie. No. These are no. not horror movies you are picking. Your list mm-hmm. is invalid. What, what are you saying? <laughs> Snoop, 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 Snoop. Why do you keep picking comedies? Yeah. It's not a comedy. Just because you laugh at it doesn't make it a comedy. It's, Bones, it was a comedy. Funny. Bones, yeah. Not, it's intended to be comedy. You see Snoop, oh, Snoop yes, Long Nails. Mm, I don't know. Number three. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, Sister Mariah, what you got? Paranormal activity. <laughs> what, okay, can, can y'all explain that to me? I heard people talk about it, but what is that? What is that? Nothing. It's nothing. It's just, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> it was like in the house. It wasn't it like, I remember watching it and it was like random stuff would happen in the house. And I'm just not a fan of this stuff happening and you don't get out the house. I just, <laughs> okay, okay. I know, I've heard of it, but I don't know, I don't know like the, the plot of it. Sister uh, Marquia said Jason was corny. Y'all must never went to camp because it wasn't corny about you thinking Jason was gonna get you. I'm telling y'all. I was terrified of Jason. I don't know what's going with y'all thinking, man. And just, Naima says Bride of Chucky and Cedar Chucky. Y'all hate yeah. what do y'all hate the Chucky's for? What did Chucky do? All that trash. Once again. <laughs> Y'all never scared of child's play? Like, y'all never scared of like, The first play. child's play was good. After that, it's over. Let me tell you something. I go to Hot Topic at the mall. If you see the good guy, dog, I go the other way. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> yeah, but that movie all the way up to Andy was grown. And I right. just, man, that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. Aisha, what you got number two, at three? Number three, I got Root. No, I'm lying. That's just, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> see, that shit is scary though. But see, that's, that's some scary right. stuff. But no, I got I got Jaws for number three. Jaws? Yeah, Jaws was terrible. That's the most unrealistic, terrible movie ever. Yeah. And once again, Steven Spielberg is my favorite director of all time. And Will I Jaws fact, is trash. And I hate the fact that he did that. Like I hate the fact that he made yeah. it. Well, I, I hate mean, the fact I don't that like Jurassic Park movie either. It's right there with it. Oh, don't do scary. that. Don't Jurassic Park it's is terrible. the great. It's great. Terrible. It's te- awful. Another unrealistic, terrible movie. It's awful. First of all, not Jurassic Park one. The other ones, yes, because they start flying and they kind of get. I've out never even turning. watched one of them. Jurassic Park one, turn it all the way up to and turn the lights mm-hmm. off. I See, can't. Good movie. I Josh, can't. You, just, you scared of my, you? You scared of bones and what did you right. say? What did you say? Bones and vampire, and vampire in Brooklyn. Vampire you, so we vampire in Brooklyn is clearly a scary movie. It's not though. Uh, <laughs> At all. Since Rakia says somebody set up a camcorder and you watch paranormal paranoid people. Okay, that's not a bad. That's that's she's saying paranormal activity. I'm assuming. That's right. All right. Let's go. So the Candace, what you got? Number three. My number three is Pet Cemetery. Okay, I heard of that. And I think I was scared of yeah. that too. I think it's another one I was scared of. Oh my <laughs> okay. gosh. <laughs> I don't remember watching it though. I just know Stephen King, right? Stephen King? Um, th- yes. I think it was Stephen King. Yes. 
with Pepsi. So apparently, I was scared of everything growing up. And then yeah, I think you were, but Josh, is that one? Nah. That just All right. Uh, okay, so my number three is Tales from the Hood. I'm done with you. I'm done. <laughs> I'm Ow. done with this. Tales from the this Hood is, the most, is a horrible scary movie. It's not a scary movie. So why they why, why they have little slaves running around? Comedies that you are putting no, little slaves coming back to bite the people when they come back to life? That was funny. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny that Josh Miss is really bad. This is a really terrible list. Why? Because, because, because little people come into attack somebody? That's not scary? <laughs> Whispers from Hulam? That wasn't scary? That man. That, that oh my was, gosh. That's not scary. Put that on for little kids right now. Put Tales from the Hood on and tell me that's not a scary movie. <laughs> that's not a scary movie? Just no. ain't going. <laughs> It's so awful. I've never seen this that movie again. I've never watched Tales from the Hood again. Oh my Nobody gosh. said they were good, but they're not horror films. No, like, that that movie was hilarious. Sister, Sister Rakia says um, Pet Cemetery was so good. Um, Mimi says <laughs> Signs. So, and, and signs, Mimi, yeah. I, I, signs I like bad. Signs. I, and, I, and I like Mel Gibson and, you know. I think Signs is good. No, once they once they showed them, I was like, mm-hmm, that's not that's not what kind of green man is this? What's yeah, but I'm saying we're talking about worst movies. I'm saying I think Signs is a good movie. Signs Even is once trash. They Signs, Signs is, is trash. really good to me. Frailty is better. I enjoy Signs. I'm sorry, y'all like Signs. I even said Josh is racist, and Sister Rakia said the first one was good. The second Tales from the Hood was trash. I didn't know there was yeah. a, a trilogy. I didn't know, I didn't know there was yeah. a the second. Was yeah. <laughs> It was bad. <laughs> I know it was an ongoing thing. I didn't know about Tales from the Hood too. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Okay, so Candace, what you got number two? My number two is The Omen. I think the, that one with the girls sitting around, or that's the Exorcist. Okay, that's so the Omen? Exorcist. The, the Omen, Omen was about the little boy. Never was won't, yeah. won't be going to see that. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> won't be seeing that. Nope. <laughs> Brother Josh, you came up with the topic. How you go? And scared to death. Yeah. Scared. Yeah, no. yeah, no. <laughs> nope, won't be saying that. It was little, little boy and Rottweilers and stuff. Call them hellhounds. You'll never, hell <laughs> never see that. Wait, Aisha, did you do your number two? No, um, Blair Witch, I got the number two. Okay. okay. I remember everybody seeing it, but I didn't see I didn't get into it. But it's it's because it's not scary or because it's a storyline. It's just ter- it's just a stupid concept. And the worst part was it's supposed so to be much real, right? Around it. It's supposed to be like it's real too. Right. Okay. Well, my number my number two is Leprechaun in the Ghetto with Ice T. I'm the real movie. I'm it's a real movie. It's lit. It is scary. It's That's funny too. Leprechaun in the Ghetto. In the Ghetto. Hey, something. Dude, it ain't not nothing horror funnier than that character and them little boots. That's <laughs> not horrible. That is, just because you laugh at it, he's killing people. How's like, that, so that, that funny? How's that kind of the ghetto funny? Yeah. <laughs> have you have you seen the little boots? Josh? Listen, you know what I saw? I turned it off. As soon as I said it came on BT, I said, hell no. <laughs> kind of the, this is the worst list he's ever done. This is the worst list he's ever had. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. I, oh, I can't wait for number one. Oh, I can't wait for my number one. Number one, what you got to do, Ryan? You just get my number two. Oh, my bad, Sister uh, Mariah. What's your number two? Okay. I know how you do. But my number two, I can't remember exactly the movie, but I remember that I hated it was House of Wax with Paris Hilton. Oh, I, I think that. I saw parts of that. Yeah. I think there was such a hype around her because she was in it, but then she died like right away. Mm. So, won't, won't be, wow. Another one I won't be seeing, House of Wax. <laughs> All right. Aisha, what you got at number, at number one? My number one is Anaconda. That is the most horrible what? movie of all. That is the most terrible movie ever. You you said you say I'm an ice cube looks at J Lo and say we got snakes out here this big you, you yes me yes like that? yes that horrible movie <laughs> Anaconda should be a joke and it's not I like, I like I like Anaconda I'm not gonna lie that's it's terrible. it's terrible it's terrible it's terrible it's absolutely terrible and it was the John Boyd John thing, Boyd man? like what the hell is going on I, that's I, a good I, I, I kind of like I kind of like that one Anaconda's the, terrible the second yeah. number one the second one was when they had more chestnut right. Nothing scary right. in it. This is a horrible movie. Anaconda's terrible. 
The second one, it was reaching. The first one, I don't know, Ice Cube in the water. It was reaching the entire movie. That whole thing was terrible. I like J-Lo. Mm. What, 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 what. I right. like J-Lo too, but she shouldn't have did that. That's she never did that. All right, Sister Candice, what you got number one? My number one is it's a tie between Hellraiser and Carrie. You don't like Carrie? Uh, I like Carrie. I didn't like Carrie. I like Carrie. Car- Carrie was I a like message Carrie. movie, and I don't know if it was scary to me, but it had a different. Carrie no. was the first movie about bullying. That's what I'm saying. It was like the a message first, movie. The first movie, the first Carrie was good. The second one, the remake. Oh, I didn't is know it was not Carrie too. I ain't yeah, see there's that. a remake. It's it's horrible. Once again, I should have never been seeing Carrie when I was a little kid. Somebody put that on. They was like, watch this. I was like, well. Don't like Carrie for. <laughs> uh, uh, Naima says she likes Carrie. Of course, of course, you like Carrie now because you're bullying people. I mean, you my goodness. Uh, so, so the Candace, what's, what about Hellraiser with all of the uh, things in the face? Right? Yeah, that was terrible. But I, I never saw. It, I just know it because of the costume. Yeah. yeah. All right. So my number one is a real movie from you you Sister Mariah again. From, from you all generation. No, you Sister Mariah, Sister Mariah again. No, Sister Mariah win. She did her too because you skipped her. Right? Did you do your number one? No. Wow. You did ask me twice. That's okay. <laughs> right. What's your number one? My number one was Pet Cemetery. Yeah, I've never seen it before. Never seen it before. I recently saw Pet Cemetery. I guess it was, I think it's like the remake or something, but. I just, I don't know. I'm never a fan of movies where the bad guy wins. And I just felt like. Oh, he won? Ew. Huh. The bad guy wins in Pet Cemetery? I never seen Pet Cemetery. At the end, when the little boy popped his head up in the car, I was like, oh my God, they're going to get the baby. And I just, to Ew. know he was about to kill the baby, I was just like, I can't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the new, one, the new one is trash. Yeah. I've never seen it. Although. The Green Mile is one of my favorite movies. It could be a little scary too if y'all wanted to throw that in there with Stephen King. You know what I'm saying? The, the Green Mile is a little scary. All right, listen, my number one is from you all's generation. I think that you all like it. They reference it on the office, but um, it's a real thing. I didn't know it was a real thing, but it's called Blackula. Blackula is a real thing. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. During you the black you haven't even ever movies. seen that. It's you a have real not seen black. You no. have not seen black. Blackula. Mm. Oh my god. Have you seen Blackula? No. <laughs> no. Nah. You don't put on a list that you ain't never even seen. Blackula. I want to suck your blood, my brother. I want to suck your blood, over. There's a man going around sucking your blood named Blackula. I'm done. And black people I'm let done. this get away. I'm done with him. I'm done. Oh my so, god! Is that I'm a good movie him. or not? Yes or no? Is that a good I'm movie? I'm feeling a little little bias going on in here. It's just terrible. It's just absolutely terrible. <laughs> Blackula, Blackula. Just think about that. Why hey. is that movie called? But you Blackula? like Anaconda? Stop. Oh my Stop. god! Anaconda is horrible. <laughs> it is. Okay, so Poor. the kids said that the, the remake was awful. I didn't know they had a remake of Blackula. Okay, Naima and Mimi both said, bye, Josh. Why are y'all mad about Blackula? Bye, both... Josh. Yes, Oh, bye. my gosh. <laughs> okay. Josh, Josh needs to be canceled for this top five. Yes, yes. Why, why do y'all want to cancel me? Cancel, cancel, cancel Brother Blackula. Josh. Cancel. He needs to be canceled for this list. <laughs> Don't cancel me. Cancel Blackula. <laughs> <laughs> Sister, Sister Mariah, can you please say goodbye to everybody? Please, thank you very much. Blackula. <laughs> it's a real movie. Yeah, okay, on the office, um, Daryl comes in dressed as Dracula, and Michael Scott said, Who are you supposed to be? Blackula. And he was but like, You have no, never I'm... even seen that movie. How are you going to put that at number one? Do you think it's good? Do you think Blackula's good? <laughs> Do you think Blackula's good? In the 70s, maybe. <laughs> Do you think a black man named Blackula walking around sucking blood? It's good. Just you tell me. Oh my God. Sister, sister, <laughs> sister, uh, Candace, please say goodbye to everybody. Thank you all for watching. Good night, everyone, except for Brother Josh. Oh, now when Black, now when Black, he'll come get you. <laughs> I don't say nothing about that. He'll come get you because you didn't like the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> Aisha, can you say goodbye to everybody? I can't even believe you. I can't even believe you right now. <laughs> Blackula. I can't believe Blackula. That's what the hell I can't believe. I can't believe somebody. <laughs> Aisha, can you say goodbye to everybody, please? Goodbye, everybody. Listen, I, I, I usually, that. Marvin's usually here to say the word of the day, uh, say something positive for everybody, but I'm just going to say it, take Marvin's place. 
no matter what you're going through in life, no matter what you're dealing with, just remember there's a movie called Black Killer to make you feel better. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm going to put I'm going to put the clip up tonight. Blackula, I'm putting it on Facebook and Twitter. Instagram. You don't oh even god. be able to put on there unless you ain't even watch. You so ridiculous. The trailer alone is going to let you know everything you need to know about the movie Blackula. Boom! Oh YouTube my it. god! It's a real thing. That was a they, sad they, list. That I was can't a horrible this list. on YouTube. That was a and, horrible list. I can't, I can't believe you invited. I can't believe you invited me back after all this time for that trash. <laughs> Top five. Sister, this is a top five sister moment. This is a moment in sister, black women united all around the world, snapping fingers, clapping hands, shit butter, everything. This is the sister episode. Thank he y'all for watching. Tonight, Thank y'all. Y'all. He can't cancel tonight, for real. Thank y'all for he coming always on. Can cancel. Sister Rakia said, good show, y'all. Thank you. Is that Sister Rakia understand? Damn, y'all don't want to be tripping. Bless Bye, it. Kevin Samuels. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all very much for watching. This is Dr. Muhammad signing off for the People's Podcast. Boom, just like that. <laughs>